Conductors in electrostatic equilibrium. Conductors are easily polarized. That means positive and negative charges can be separated. These materials have free electrons that are free to move around inside the material. Any charges that are placed on a conductor will rearrange themselves in a stable distribution. The stable distribution is called electrostatic equilibrium. When the conductor is in electrostatic equilibrium, the field inside it is zero. So the net force upon the electrons inside the conductor is zero. Just the outside surface of a conductor in electrostatic equilibrium, the electrical field must be perpendicular to the surface. So, let's talk a little bit more detail about this. If there was electrical field inside a conductor in an electrostatic equilibrium has to be zero. If there was an electrical field inside, this will exert a force on the electron which will accelerate and hence move them. Objects at electrostatic equilibrium have no motion of charge about the surface. Electrostatic equilibrium state is now broken. So for an isolated conductor, Electrical lines cannot be present inside the surface. Two concentric, concentric conducting cylinders of different radii will have outer will be positive and inner will be negatively charged, but on the inside it will have no absolutely no field. Faraday's cage. Concept that electrical field equals zero inside of a closed conducting surface was first demonstrated by Michael Faraday. Faraday constructed a room within a room, covering the inner room with a metal foil. He sat inside the inner room with an electroscope and charged the surfaces of the outer and inner room using an electrostatic generator. While sparks were seen flying between the walls of the two rooms, there was no detection of an electrical field within the inner room. The excess charge, the excess charge on the walls of the inner room resided entirely upon the outer surface of the room. The inner room with a conducting frame that protected Faraday from the static charge is now known as Faraday's cage. The cage serves to shield whomever and whatever is on the inside from the influence of electric field. Shielding. Any closed conducting surface can serve as a Faraday's cage. Shielding whatever it surrounds from the potentially damaging effects of electrical field is called shielding. Today, we protect delicate electrical equipment by enclosing them in metal cases. Delicate computer chips and other electronic components are shipped from inside of conducting plastic packaging that shields the chips from potentially damaging effects of electrical fields. This is an example of physics for better living. Number two, electrical fields are perpendicular to charged surfaces. Just outside the surface of a conductor in an electrostatic equilibrium, the electric field must be perpendicular to the surface. There cannot be a component of electric field, or in fact a force, that is parallel to the surface. For a spherical object, that means that the perpendicular electric field vectors are aligned with the center of the sphere. For an irregularly shaped object, the electrical field vector at any location is perpendicular to a tangent line drawn to the surface at that location. If this was not true, then any surface charge would have a net force acting on it and the conductor would not be in electrostatic equilibrium anymore. Electric field and surface curvature. Any, access, <clears throat> any excess charge on the surface of a conductor will accumulate where the surface is highly curved. For example, a sharp point, like shown in pictures here. There are the same number of charges but if you have a charger like this, they will accumulate where the surface is covered. 